good morning in this class uh, we are going to prove one important theorem uh, in real analysis okay let m1 comma d1 and m2 comma d2 be two metric spaces let a belongs to m1 the function the function f is continuous f from m1 into m2 is continuous if and only if xn converges to a implies f of xn converges to f of a f of xn converges to f of a proof first the two we have to prove the two part if and only what we have first suppose if f is continuous f is continuous at a let then we can assume that xn is also converges to a then we have to prove that f of xn converges to f of a let xn belongs to m1 such that such that this xn converges to a so now we can use two things one is f is continuous at a we can use xn converges to a also we can use then we have to prove that f of xn converges to f of a since f is continuous at a since f is continuous at a let epsilon is greater than 0 be given then there exists then there exists a delta is greater than 0 then there exists a delta is greater than 0 such that such that d1 of x comma a d1 of x comma a is because f is continuous at a x comma a is less than delta such that uh, less than delta this implies here d2 of d2 of f of xn comma f of a is less than epsilon is less than epsilon so we call it as this is equation number one what does it mean Whenever d1 of x comma a is less than epsilon, except here is uh, f is continuous, xn plus 2, well, therefore let us take xn comma a, xn, uh, no, not, not xn, x, you know, because f is continuous at a only, for all x, for all x. So here is also f of x, you know, because we are using only f is continuous at a only, that epsilon is greater than 0 to given, there exists a uh, delta is greater than 0 such that d1 of x comma a is less than delta implies d2 of f of x comma f of a is less than epsilon we call it as equation number 1 then since xn converges to a since xn converges to a what is the definition of convergent sequence given epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a positive integer n naught such that distance between xn and a is less than epsilon and the modulus of xn minus a is less than epsilon for all n is greater than or equal to n naught okay since xn converges to a what is the definition of convergent sequence 
xn converges to a means given any epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a delta is greater than 0 d1 of xn comma a is less than delta for all n because there exists delta n there exists a positive integer n naught there exists a positive integer n naught such that this is less than delta for all n is greater than or equal to n naught so this is the, the given epsilon means here is epsilon ok the xn convert just here means what given any epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a positive integer positive integer n naught there exists a positive integer n naught such that d1 of xn comma a is less than epsilon for all n is greater than or equal to n naught given any epsilon a positive number already we have a positive number delta so therefore instead of epsilon we choose delta so since xn converges to a there exists there exists a positive integer n naught such that there exists a positive integer n naught such that d1 of d1 of xn comma a is less than what we have chosen instead of epsilon we have chosen is delta is less than delta for all n is greater than or equal to n naught for all n is greater than or equal to n naught by 1 whenever d1 of x comma a is less than delta implies d2 of f of x comma f of a less than epsilon so here d1 of x n comma a is less than de uh, delta this implies d2 of f of x n minus uh, f of x n comma f of a is less than epsilon less than epsilon by 1 ok so therefore given any epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a delta is greater than 0 such that d2 of f of xn comma f of a is less than epsilon therefore this implies f of xn is converges to f of a f of xn converges to f of a f of xn converges to f of a one part of the proof is over so conversely Conversely assume that Conversely assume that Xn converges to A Xn converges to A implies F of Xn converges to F of Xn converges to F of A To prove that To prove that F is continuous f is continuous ok continuous at a suppose suppose f is not continuous at a not continuous at a so, f is continuous means what is the definition of continuous function f is continuous at a if given any epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a delta is greater than 0 such that f of b comma b of a comma delta is a subset of b of f of a comma epsilon ok so this is a definition of continuous at a suppose f is not continuous means here is any epsilon is greater than 0 there exists a delta not continuous means there exists there exists n epsilon is greater than 0 for all delta is greater than 0 for all delta is greater than 0 such that this does not go to that ok so therefore f is not continuous at a there exists an there exists an epsilon is greater than 0 and for all delta is greater than strictly greater than 0 such that such that f of 
b of a comma delta is not a subset of is not a subset of b of f of a comma epsilon f of a comma epsilon okay so for all delta in particular in particular for all delta i am going to take delta is equal to 1 by n 1 by n is also positive in particular f of f of b of f of b of a comma 1 by n f of b of a comma 1 by n is also not a subset of b of f of a comma epsilon f of a comma epsilon epsilon okay when we say that a set is not a subset suppose a is a subset of b every element of a is also an element of b therefore a is a subset of b suppose a is not a subset of b there exists at least one element in a which does not belong to b one at least one element from a which does not belong to b therefore it's not a subset so therefore choose therefore choose xn such that xn belongs to b of a comma 1 by n and this f of xn does not belong to does not belong to b of f of a comma epsilon b of f of a comma epsilon okay so therefore here this implies again this implies xn belongs to b of a, 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 a comma 1 by n means xn belongs to b of a comma 1 by n means distance between distance between this xn comma a is less than 1 by n you know because this is a open bar center is a radius is this so xn belongs to this means distance between xn and a is less than 1 by n and and the same thing distance between in m2 therefore t2 distance between f of xn comma f of a f of xn comma f of a is less than epsilon is less than epsilon is less than epsilon so therefore this implies this implies xn converges to a this implies because n tends to infinity d1 of xn comma a approaches to a and here uh, so this is uh, and d2 does not belong to means not less than epsilon does not belong to mean this is greater than or equal to epsilon if x xn belongs to this means distance between this and that is less than epsilon but this f of xn uh, does not belong to this open bar so this f xn outside the open bar therefore the radius is greater than epsilon so therefore and here f of xn does not converge to does not converge to f of a that does not converge to converge to f of a so there which is contradiction xn converges to a and f of xn does not converge to a so which is contradiction to the hypothesis to the hypothesis that xn converges to a implies f of xn converges to f of a so there's this contradiction to the hypothesis that so here xn converges to a and f of xn does not converge to f of a so therefore what we have assumed is wrong so therefore f is continuous at a therefore f is continuous at a therefore f is continuous
continuous of 1 by x orbitary, so they are continuous. Hence the proof.